man. It's like this guy needs to pull up so I can get in. I'm not sure what that other PNS driver's doing down there. Yeah, you gotta get out, buddy. You gotta get out so the other guy can pull up. There we go. I did the same load last week. Same exact load. Except now, I got purple max. Last week I had blue. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Go ahead and pull that thing up. So I can get in. Get off the highway. Luckily, nobody got behind me yet. Good morning, sir. Safe trip? Yes, sir. Good, good. Go ahead and start unstrapping and we'll get you out of here. Yes, sir. Got you. flag over there man that's a big one too it's a big one In the wrong side of town I'm gonna take a break break right here until we get another load. Chill right here for a little bit. Last week when I was here, it took about uh, took about 30 minutes before I got a load. So hopefully, it don't take that long today. Where's Grady? I need to go on East Grady. 
Statesboro, Georgia. That's where I'm at. 35 mile dead head from uh, Sylvania. That's where I was just, was just at, that truck stop. That was Sylvania, Georgia. Hey, y'all know I can drive in New York City. It's a little old Statesboro, Georgia. This ain't no big deal. This load's going to Madison, Virginia. Delivered tomorrow between 6 and 3, I believe. I don't got a lot of time on my clock, so I won't be able to make it too far today. I can knock out a... I might, I might make it back home today, to tell you the truth. That's, that's, uh, that's on my agenda. Make it back to the house. Come on, green light. There we go. Make a right on Park Avenue. Park Avenue, where you at? Park Avenue. I think it's the next. It's the next right. It's the next one.
come this way. I came from right here. Like if I make a right right here, this is the way I came. Last time I was here, they didn't have a, uh, the tarpon area was down. So I had to, had to tarpon myself, but it made me pull off the property. Do not park on scales or below road to scales. Oh. The flatbed driver, they don't want me on the scale. I can't remember. I can't remember. They don't want you to scale in. Only scale out. Let's go check in. Honest, honest opinions only. Honest opinions. What do y'all, what do y'all think about my driving? She told me to go around the barn and behind the cars. What y'all think about my driving, man? Honestly. <laughs> hey, that was a tight squeeze I was just in just now. That was a real tight squeeze. Around the barn, behind the cars. Talking area probably still broke down because they got uh they got some random trucks parked there. Look like it's still down. So probably gotta do the same thing I did last time. Pull up and talk it somewhere. remember now I remember I back last time I was here I back I backed up over there oh, he just waved me up yeah I remember now last time I backed up over there let's see loads must be strapped and tarped strapped and tightened before truck is moved oh okay <sighs> so I gotta tighten up the straps back here Last time I tightened them over there. I also remember last time I was here when they first started that uh that yard move stuff. Where you couldn't drive the truck over five miles an hour. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember back, y'all remember back back last year before they had a new ELD mandate. You could drive the trucks at uh what was it like 30, 30 miles an hour? up to 30 miles an hour before the kick and drive. Hey, I need to move those. You gonna take the whole trailer? Yeah, I'm gonna have that. Oh, so you gonna put those on top? Yeah, just put them right here for me. I'll yeah. put them where you want. All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's
been a while since I did a did a tarpon video it's been a good while Damn. bungee missing a damn hook it's been a good while I need to grab some more bungees. Now we're gonna close the back end up. We're gonna go ahead and close the back up. Close it up while we're back here.
out the back, look. Look all right. We're gonna put one more right here. Just, just in case this was to fall out. Yeah. Grab a couple more bungees so I can pin the other side. And then we're gonna climb back up there. Grab a couple. Gonna grab a couple, man. Grab a couple from over there. Let's go ahead and pin this side. I forgot about these that I threw down here. I forgot about y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and put these over here while we're on this side. Well, we got one tarp up there. We got one. Now we're gonna get the other one. I knew this place, that damn tarping station. If I had a ladder, I wouldn't have to do my acrobatics to get up here. But y'all already know, I'm a flatbed Olympian. That ain't gonna work right there. That's how I did it a while ago. Came up on this side. You wanna be a flat better? You gotta be athletic. I ain't gonna say you got to. Some guys got ladders. Maybe when I get old, I need a ladder. Right now, that ladder slowed me down. Then I gotta take it out, put it back up. For now, I stick to this. sit down on the edge put my leg right here that way I don't got a long drop believe it or not I try to minimize how much I jumped down off that trailer. Like right now, 
I could have jumped down on this other side, but it ain't got no steps over there. So I could have jumped, but I took the steps. Cause when I get old, my body will pay for it. Oh, looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I only got one bungee over here. But I'll go ahead and pin this one. This one bungee. Just so that damn wind don't uh, decide to take it off. I'll go ahead and pin it while we over here. Pin this side. Then we're gonna get the work cover, closing this whole thing up. Man, this side don't got a damn a damn hole in it. So we gotta improvise. Improvise, baby. If you wanna be a flat better. I know it got a hole in it somewhere. There it is. I know it had a hole somewhere. The D-ring's missing. That's what it is. It's missing the D-ring. Damn it. So we're just about the best we can do. The D-ring's tore out. Yeah, it's about the best we can do with that one. I put one right there. We gotta pull down that side right there on the other side. We gotta pull it down. Cause I ain't got enough. I ain't got nothing to work with. Let's take a few bungees on this side with me. Man, I really don't got too much to work with over there. That's about all I can do. Ain't got too much to work with, baby. So we're gonna do it like that. Because the load is uneven at the top. That's why it's like that. It's not all flat.
It's almost all these bungees. Gotta get another bundle down. tell y'all the truth this is the first load that i've tarped a lumber load i've tarped like flat steel loads just one tarp it's the first load i've tarped in probably about two months so if you see me with like a if, if y'all seen me with a tarp load on facebook or snapchat or anything it was a pre it was a preload it was already tarped when i picked it up this is the first load I've talked in a long time. So I'm not sure. Not sure how good my uh, talking skills are. I'm not sure if I can still call myself uh, the master topper. I'll let y'all be the judge of that. But so far we're almost finished. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this side all the way. That shit tied tight. <laughs> My bungee's been hanging up so long they didn't got into a knot. I ain't used them in a while. I ain't used y'all in forever. all the way so I ain't got to worry about it because that way I can go ahead and get ready to do the front after I do this do the other side yeah coming along nicely I got nowhere to put this one just gonna run you back here somewhere I'll hold you right there, baby. Those right there. We might need a whole nother bundle of bungees. Might need a whole nother bundle. It's a regular top I got right here.
screenshot this part right now. Screenshot it right now. That's my snap code. Follow me on snap. Screenshot the snap code. Bam, right there, once again. Dion Melvin on Snapchat, real easy. Almost got me. Gotta be quicker. Gotta be quicker than that. Gotta be quicker than that. I just walked all the way down here with two bungees in my hand. Walked right past the hole, well, about six or seven that I dropped on the ground. Now I gotta go back and get them. Work smart, not hard. How many times y'all done heard that? Work smart, not hard. Oh, we almost finished. Gotta do the front, and that's gonna be it. I got some bungees in my dog box that I need to take out. They've been in there taking up space for the longest. Now is the perfect opportunity to get them. I think I got some in there. I probably need about eight. Uh, let's see. Let's hope this is enough. This is enough. But we ain't gotta take a whole bundle down. Cause this, this side is done. Oof, I almost forgot this one. Almost forgot that one. Make sure I got all these on this side. Yep, looking pretty good. Let's close the front up. We're gonna be out of here. Oh, I see a PNS truck up there. Remember how I was telling y'all about that ELD uh, thing when they switched over, where you can only drive five miles an hour? Cause the last time I came here, I had dropped a load off in Florida, Lakeland, Florida. And I had to deadhead Statesboro to get the load, but I got here too late. So I spent the night here so the next morning, I was gonna, I was gonna creep and, and get loaded without starting my clock. But when the forklift driver came and got me, man, I couldn't keep up with him. I was trying to creep at five miles an hour. Man, he took off on my head. And ever since then, I ain't been able to creep. Sometimes I can do it depending on where I'm at. All depends. Where I'm dropping this load off at, Madison, Virginia. 
if they if they don't if they don't unload you in that little area where you can spend the night at then you got to move to a different spot so you got to follow the forklift again once again you cannot that forklift will outrun your ass if you're trying to go five miles an hour That motherfucker will take off on you. He'll look back at you like, what you doing, bud? <laughs> you get tired of creeping, so you'll just, you'll just hit the gas and take off and just say, fuck it, take the loss. For y'all don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm talking about that damn 14 hour clock. <laughs> Trying to lead, trying to get unloaded without starting your 14 hour clock. That's what I'm talking about. For y'all non truck drivers. Y'all truckers that know, y'all know. Y'all know how it is. I forgot about these bungees in here. These are the extra long bungees. I keep them in here. Just in case I gotta pull up on the side of the road. That's also the main reason I got them in that dog box too. So if I pull up on the side of the road, I don't gotta go over there and fight to get those out. Those are my emer emergency bungees that I keep in case of an emergency. Yeah, I just grabbed those real quick. If I gotta pull over and fix something. So that's why they're right there. What y'all know about that? Any of y'all got emergency bungees that you keep somewhere? <sighs> it's about as good as it's gonna get. Let's see if I can creep this bungee up in here. So I creep that one in there. Every little bit helps. I got one more. Let's see where I can put it at. Every little bit helps. All right, this is the final walk around right here, gang. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Tell me if I did a good job. Tell me what needs to be worked on. There's the back. Here's this side. Hey, I can accept criticism now. Tell me what you think. I'm not worthy to be the master tarper anymore. I haven't tarped in a long time. Put this one right here. I don't really need it, but like I said, every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. Let me fix this real quick. We're gonna hit the road. Send my depart shipper and we out of here. Flatbed gang, hope y'all enjoy this video, man. Follow me on Instagram, I'm out.